very I was very excited uh, last year in 2023 I had the opportunity to know New York City okay by the way I I took a picture uh, side by uh, Wall Street Bulls behind yeah. the Renato yeah. picture <laughs> yeah that's it, guys. That's it. Sorry, I'm near roads. My English is not good. It's a pleasure for me to join with you today. Nice to meet you. Hello, Eric. Hello. Uh, I'm Rodrigo. I live in Manaus, but I'm born in the Red Sea. I moved from Rugansu when I was uh, 15 years old. I lived that time in uh, Goiás. Uh, my family, my parents and sister live in Goiânia. And uh, now, more than 20 years I live in. Manaus, I'm an agricultural researcher in Brapa, the Brazilian uh, company. And uh, yeah, I like uh, learning English. I paid a lot of uh, course before uh, English Brazil and uh, a lot of money. And uh, in this course, the people never listen to me. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. And the, this purpose of English Brazil is the, the best uh, purpose because you need uh, talk. And when you talk, you uh, can really. Uh, practice and improve your English. I like this purpose. I think so. Tatiana? Okay. <clears throat> I'll take some more. Bless you. Well, I guess now it's my turn. Um, hello, my name is Tatiana. Um, I am, I was born and raised in Sao Paulo when I was 19 years old. Uh, I went to the U.S. to uh, study English and the idea was to stay for just six months. Ended up staying for oh, two years. <laughs> so, um, I was, uh, 15 years in Boston uh, seven years in New York. Um, the majority of my life, uh, well, my entire life, I built a career in the hospitality industry. I was a director of operations for a few brands. Um, I've always been passionate about training and I was always, uh, the, every company that I went, that I worked for, I was in charge of putting a training program together for them and as well as help them put some of the projects that they had, um, um, like start some of the projects that they had in terms of operations. Um, I met Bruce uh, at church uh, it was the first time that I went to church here in Brazil and then I met him and he invited me to participate of uh, one of the classes for English Brazil and here I am. It's been almost two months. <laughs> uh, hospitality means hotel or uh, tourism or... No, I was working in the restaurant industry. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I work with a few companies like Panera Bread. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Um, that's a big one. I work also with a lot of startups. And um, the last company that I work, it's called Casanella. They are a group of full service restaurant, uh, very well known in, in the New York area, New York City. Uh, and they also expanding by opening restaurants in Texas and Miami. Uh, where are you now? I am in Sao Paulo. So I moved back to Brazil. I guess I forgot to tell you this part. I moved back to Brazil <laughs> two months ago. Oh my uh, God. And, yeah. And then uh, I met Bruce on my uh, first Wednesday here in Brazil. And then here I am. <laughs> and are you planning to work in the hospitality industry in the in Brazil? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, I'm actually planning to work um, helping uh, companies, startups or small size to medium sized companies to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much what, uh, what I am uh, looking forward to do. But as well as I speak English, uh, probably better than Portuguese <laughs> because I spend more time in the United States than in Brazil. Um, and I do love to teach and coach people. Um, I've been taking advantage of, of that skill that I have to, you know, meet people, make some money and yeah. And anything that English could help me. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, how, sorry, Tati. How 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 long did you live in the US? Uh 22 years. Oh, 22. Okay. I, I understood yeah. two years. Oh, come on. Two no, years no, ago. no. 22 <laughs> years. 22. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you are you are American, so. Yes, I am American. I live more time there than in Brazil, for sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a U.S. citizenship or a green card? Or no, I was in the process of having a green card. Um, a long, very long, long, long process, and I just pretty much abandoned the the whole process, uh, because. I I wanted to come back to Brazil, so yeah. I was living there. Uh, they say that is uh, I was I was living there more like uh, in a prison, you know, like I I was free in the United States and I could do whatever I wanted to, <laughs> besides travel. So <laughs> I understand. Yeah. yeah. So Tatiana, how does this work after these introductions? Uh, what is the the dynamics? Yeah, well, thank you so much. You're pretty much being the best organized of the group. <laughs> like I just got to sit here and watch. <laughs> so the way this works is uh, now, you know, people are just going to ask you questions. I think that probably what, what people, of course, they they can ask you whatever they want you and you only uh, answer whatever you want you as well. Sure. But I think that uh, one of the things that the majority of us, we definitely wanted to hear from you. It's how it is to live in San Francisco. How was the transition? Um, it, no, especially you that know so many people and work for so many companies. Uh, what's the difference between San Francisco in comparison to other big cities in the United States. So that's pretty much it. I think um, Heather has, uh, he has a question because he raised his hands. No, no, uh, uh, I will be very uh, little, I will be fast. I, I just forgot to tell about my age. I was, I'm, Six years old. Uh, about my family, I married. I have two daughters, 
and the one son, but they are adult and they they also uh, are married. All right. Uh, for for me, you are a young, uh, for me you are a young guy. So <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Because you are 10 years uh, newer than me. Yeah, I'm 53. I forgot to. I'm 53. Okay, then, uh, yeah, but I think that Tati did a very good question. How about your experience of living in uh, American cities? Uh, what do you have to, to say about your experience, Erika? So uh, I was born in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. I also lived in Tokyo. I also lived in Caracas, Venezuela. So I always uh -huh. like to be in big cities. And of course, I only lived in San Francisco, California. And I have to say that I love San Francisco because it's, t it's still a relatively small city, less than a million inhabitants. Yeah. However, yeah. it has been always a culture hub. Lots of restaurants, lots of events, uh, very international. And it has beach, it has mountains, lots of places to go hiking and lots of diversity, lots of culture. So it's a wonderful place to live. And I think, especially for foreigners, I feel very at home because there are so many people living here. So I don't know about the other parts of the U.S., but San Francisco is <laughs> everybody. All the Americans said it, that San Francisco is special. And I think it's special. Yes. So it's a wonderful place. So um, what the good thing of San Francisco is really all the restaurants culture events there are so many music so many things to do and so many three things to do again you just have to drive you go to the ocean you go hiking it's wonderful the cons is that it's a very expensive place to live not until 25 30 years ago because as you might know san francisco is the place where the hippie movement started in the 60s, also the counterculture. So people are more left oriented, maybe a little less capitalist. <laughs> but in the last 20 years, things have changed because of the Silicon Valley, you know, all these big companies, Meta, Google, Yahoo, HP, they all had their headquarters in the Silicon Valley, which is just an hour south of here. So those mm -hmm. people, the software engineers, they make good money and they prefer to live in San Francisco instead of live. Of course, some people live in the south, but a lot of people with a lot of money, they prefer to live in San Francisco. So all the cost of living and the real estate, you know, housing got really expensive. Yeah. So what happened is that those people who have been living here, they used to be, you know, they were not high paid people. They were expelled from the city. So mm -hmm. now there are more people who can really afford living here. So everything, everything went up. So all the houses, mm -hmm. apartments, they're all one, two, three, four, five million dollar houses. So, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, San Francisco is still very progressive, more liberal, not conservative. So there are many laws that protect people who live in San Francisco. For example, uh, there is rent control. Do you know what rent control mean? Rent, rent control. It's yeah. a kind mm -hmm. of uh, control the level of price of the, the rent. Yes, of the, the, city, the city doesn't allow property owners to raise the rent if the property is older than 30 years old. So, so San Francisco is very pretty. There are many old houses, very pretty. And these houses are protected 
that the landlord cannot raise the rent. So those people who use, and I am one of them, you can live in those beautiful homes paying little less than the market. Uh, an interesting aspect that I that I knew when I was in San Francisco that was uh, curious, yeah, the size of the 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 windows and the, some uh, in the past. Uh, the the tax were cover over the size of the windows. I don't know if you know this history. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. This is a uh, this part of uh, hurricane. No, hurricanes and, and uh, nightmare uh, were a kind of another curiosity about San Francisco. Yeah, but the but I believe that this is uh, a curiosity. Well, what I I remember that way when I was there. Uh, oh well, I walk a lot about Golden Gate Bridge. I visit Alcatraz and. Uh, Golden Gate Park and uh, uh, that 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 street that has a uh, up and down Lombard, uh, Lombard 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 Street. Street Lombard Street yeah full of yeah full of curves and uh, up and downs yeah that's uh, interesting and I visit to Carmel the city was where Clint Eastwood Clint was Eastwood. the mayor yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and I visited San Diego San Los Angeles and uh, but San Jose is the place where concentrate most of the technology companies in Silicon Valley, isn't it? Silicon Valley, saying. yeah, but it's boring. Boring. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I can imagine, yeah. There are, no, kind of there are not so interesting restaurants. It's not pretty. San Francisco is very pretty. Yeah, and, uh, and another aspect that I, I don't know if you if you agree with me, because uh, the first city that I visited the United States was you know, the first city was California. Okay, so after after visit other cities in the United States some years later, I consider that San Francisco seems to be another country, not another state. It's another country, yeah, because the people behavior have a totally different behavior there. Yeah, and uh, I remember that there was a very tough, uh, uh, how can I say, sides opinions. And uh, different behaviors uh, among people, yeah. But I could, but I, I think that I think that makes me curious because I love it too. I love to be San Francisco, but I think that the last years, at least here in Brazil, we heard a lot of in, uh, information about the high, the higher in the tax, yeah, the cost of living in in California in general, yeah. And uh, some people are moving from. Moving from yesterday, I was with two guys from Texas. Yeah, yesterday night, I was in a meeting with two guys from Texas, uh, from Houston. Yeah, and uh, they told me that uh, many people are moving from San Francisco to Texas because the tax. Yeah, is it is it right? Say correct. That. So I paid. including federal taxes, state taxes, I paid about like less than 40%. Oh, come on. Yes. But do you, do you consider that you have a good return on it? Well, for me, I, I like to, I don't care about the size of my house. I don't need uh -huh. to live in a house with pool. I don't want to live in a house that I need to drive all the time, right? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. if you compare like this, I prefer to live in San Francisco because of the lifestyle. I don't care about the size of the houses, right? I don't care about the nicest car to drive. So I don't spend so much money on gasoline. Of course, I'm worried about retirement because it's so expensive. Yeah. But I've been thinking, where am I going to move? Uh -huh. Right. Of course, in Texas or Oregon, where you don't pay sales taxes, or Florida or Washington states, where you don't pay state income taxes, of course, you keep more money. Yeah. But it's boring. It's cold. Right. It's cold. So there are pros and cons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sure. everybody here in San Francisco think, oh, it, is it worth to live here where you pay so much taxes? Of course. 
Everybody's thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to consider when I make a, when I make a decision to move to San Francisco or to uh, from, from from San Francisco or to San Francisco, yeah. I have to consider. Yeah, there are things like that. If you work for a big corporation, for example, California offers gives a little bit more vacation holidays mm -hmm. if you compare to other states. So it's a little a little pros and cons. But of course, in terms of taxes, you pay much more taxes, higher taxes in California. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. And also there is something, California, San Francisco, we have earthquakes. It is possible that one Earth. day a big yeah. one comes. <laughs> but my personal opinion, I don't care. I love my life in San Francisco. I don't want to live in a somewhere else where there's nothing to do. Really, nothing to do. It's do you like? Do you like? Do you like to ride your bike or to uh, hike in yes. Pier Thirty Nine? I can walk to a nice restaurant. I can. It's. It's what you, what goes well with your lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But another yeah. thing, because of the Silicon Valley cost of living where many people were expelled from the houses, there is more crimes, more crime. Mm. And uh, the home homeless and the drug, it's mm. very bad here. But it's very bad in anywhere. San Diego, LA, Portland. There are whole Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, there, is, there is a there is a city close to so to San Francisco called Sausalito. Have yes. you uh, have you read it? Oh, what a beautiful city. It seems yeah. to be uh there is I think I don't know if you if you have visited Campus de Jordão here yeah, in yeah. Brazil. And I think that Sausalito is a kind of Campus Jordão close to the beach. Yeah, for me, I have a good, uh, uh, good remembers about, uh, um, about, about, about Sausalito. Yeah, it's a good place. Uh, Erica, yeah. Erica um, I, 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 I've been, I've, I've been US twice, all right, and I, I plan uh, on back to visit us uh, could you explain a little bit about uh, tourism in, on, in san francisco the best uh, for example the best season to visit uh, the the best place to visit is some special tourist points for us uh, to know okay uh, as renato mentioned there are many 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 tourist points but there is something is the fog, fog, F-O-G, fog. San Francisco is very famous for the fog, neblina. Kind of long though. Yes, yeah. the, the fog comes from the ocean. There's a lot of wind. And then the weather is gray and cold, very cold. Most of the time of the year, even now, it's summer, it's gray. So the summer, summer in San Francisco, it's September and October. Like June, July, May, April, <laughs> can be cold. It can be cold. But again, it's not all year long cold after three four days sunshine and then the wind comes gets cold and it's go it's like this it's like this oh several seasons in a season <laughs> yes. yes so we they we always tell wear layers layers camadas because it could be very cold in the morning, very hot in the, during the day, and very cold at night. Yeah. Simply, simply. It's a cold city. It's a cold city. I think it's also very windy. It's not so much very so cold, windy. but the wind, the wind it's, it's really 
uh, mixed, very cold. Very cold. And from the wind comes from yeah. the ocean and mm -hmm. the water temperature from the ocean is very cold because the water stream comes from Alaska. So it's very cold. But I don't care. It's a wonderful place to live. Wonderful place. Again, every night there is live music. There's so much to do. Food. Like you can have food from Uzbekistan. Of course, Japanese, Italian. So many from everywhere and high quality. High, high quality food. Is it, is it possible cross the San Francisco bridges on food? On oh, food? Yeah, that's what everybody does. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh. Also bicycle. You can rent a bicycle and go up and down. Or, of course, you can go by car as well. But everybody go, go, uh, walks. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Rodrigo, it's your turn now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, listen about uh, Airbnb effect in the cities, tourist cities. Uh, are there this kind of uh, effect in San Francisco, or the money is more the problem is money? A lot of people uh, with a lot of money and affect the 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 city. But are there this kind of effect? Uh, Airbnb, the people buy a, uh, buy a house just to use for this. Uh, investment. Uh, this. investment. Yeah, like the short, short uh, rent, uh, short time. Short term mm -hmm. rental. Yeah, short term rental. And uh, it's a kind of. Uh, Process that, uh, how can I say? The, the sad the word. Uh, the people need to to get out of the city because the prices. Yes, it happened as well as well. So Airbnb was founded in Air San Francisco. The headquarters mm. is in 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 San Francisco, and yeah, in fact, that's another factor that made people expel. Because the owners, instead of renting, they decided to do Airbnb. So the amount of housing to rent diminished. Yeah. yeah. And of course, San Francisco, because it's very progressive, there are many laws that protect the renters, the tenants. Okay. So you cannot just say hey Kate, move no there are many laws that protect the tenants but also they they also created some laws limiting who can do airbnb mm, yeah that the, uh, i listen about uh barcelona and uh paris and uh other cities the people now think about uh, laws to to protect the, the the people from the city. Yes, yes. Yeah, some yeah. Uh, in Barcelona, in Spain, the people, uh, the 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 residents are uh, reacting against the, the, the tourists. Yeah, yeah. yeah, using sometimes. Yeah, until now, just. Uh, low violence, you know, just spelling water in the people in the restaurant, in the streets. And also, uh, in terms of buying properties to do Airbnb, it's almost zero because all the properties are very expensive. You cannot buy anything under one million dollars. A studio is $600,000, a studio. A two bedroom apartment is always a million dollar. If you buy oh a gosh. house with three, four bedroom is four millions, five million, six millions. You will never get that money back doing Airbnb. Mm. 
Sure. Yeah. So I believe that all, all the United States has uh, the, the price increase a lot. Uh, I remember when I was in uh, when I was in New York. Well, I I decided to to cancel or to postpone my trip to New York again because uh, the price to stay in a hotel three stars, something like three stars, again, the equivalent of Brazil, three stars, uh, something like $350 uh, dollars per day, a uh, couple, yeah? So I believe that all the United States, it's expensive, but mainly some tourist area like uh, California, New York, and uh, maybe Washington, uh, Houston, place like that. So I decided to I decided to postpone my 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 trip to New York because I I when I was in New York I love it yeah I think I consider that yeah it's a crazy city but anyway it's a lovely city too yeah and explore I, I, to... I love New York City I love New York City yeah yeah me too and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> who know who don't know yeah who don't like it and uh, yeah it's a beautiful city. And I, but I believe that this is a, a, a I think, but you, you, you told the interesting thing. You lived in Venezuela for Caracas, yeah. Yeah. So one year. You, one year. So you decide to move from Caracas quickly. Yeah. So, you, uh, you was faster. Than I moved, uh, I moved, I lived in Venezuela because of my ex husband's work assignment. He uh, used to okay. work for some microsystems, so we lived in Caracas for one year. It was wonderful. Which yeah. year? 2003 to 2004. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. 2003 was before Chavez. Oh, it or... was already Chavez. Uh, okay. But it still was good. It still was livable. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah, yeah, because Caracas is one of the beautiful cities in South America. But the weather, the weather was always nice. There was always a breeze coming yeah. west, east. It was lovely. <laughs> but in San Francisco, it's interesting because during uh, about 4 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., there is a wind, a cold wind. You told the people call it, uh, the, there is a cow, name for it. Cow, cow, cow. Cow, cow, Yeah, yeah. I remember that from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., the, the temperature dropped a lot. Then, after that, it's uh, it became nice, okay? Oh, cow. It's, really <laughs> it's a name of a guy, cow. I put the name in the chat. Yeah, I saw. No, right now it, it, I see I see the fog. Okay. It's the fog. In the, in Seattle, like if you go up, because if you go to Washington State, that is on top of like California and like mm -hmm. right on top of San Francisco, the fog is even worse. Uh there is really great all the time. Like people barely see the sun. And it always rains every day. <laughs> uh, same in Oregon. San Francisco, it doesn't rain much. But the fog comes and you don't see the sunlight. Where I live is good because there is a mountain. So the fog doesn't come over me. It goes around me. But yeah, right now, the fog is yeah. coming. There I is see the fog right now. There is a nickname for San Francisco, a city fog. Yeah, city fog, yeah, it's there. Also, there is a very famous quote from Mark Twain. You know the writer, Mark Twain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that the coldest winter that he spent in his life was summer in San Francisco. Yeah, may maybe because of the humidity. Yeah. Humidity? No, it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold, but I don't. It's care. interesting that you're saying that because uh, when I went to visit San Francisco, I went uh, in August and I was impressed how cold it was because 
I I used to live in the eastern area of of New United States where I mean we actually know what is really cold like you know especially Boston uh but I was so surprised because I was cold all the time I was ex I wasn't expecting that weather when I went to San Francisco and I remember it was always around like four o'clock in the afternoon I was like Jesus Christ like where's my jacket like it's cold <laughs> It's very cold. It's yeah. very, but I don't care. There's so even in the city, you can go hiking. It's a wonderful place. You can go hiking there. the The streets are pretty. Of course, there's a lot of hills, but yeah. it's a good exercise. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Visually, it's a very pretty city. And there's live music, free live music. There's always something happening. There is, a, there is a place called the Palace of Fine Arts. I remember that. It was yes, there. yes, Palace, Palace of Fine Arts. That's really beautiful. I think that the two places that I loved the most was, uh, well, three, three, three things. Uh, the, the Palace of Fine Arts, the pier. Yeah, pier was great. Be good to, to to see people uh walking and uh riding their bicycles and uh and I think that the the prison of Alcatraz because the moon yeah it's uh it's it's a kind of amazing thing to see that prison yeah yeah that's an interesting place I'd like to I would like to to come back to to go back to to San Francisco yeah. because I miss it yeah There are so many things to do Sure sure yeah Well we're about to reach our our uh we only have 5 minutes left I'm impressed how fast the time went but thank you Erica you are Oh you great. guys can ask more questions <laughs> I've been Yes, I would actually like to ask a question. In your personal experience, what if you have to say, what are the three, uh, your three favorite places in San Francisco? Like, if any of us go visit San Francisco, in your opinion, what are three places that we must see it? In San Francisco? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there is a kind of a new museum it's called de young i think when you were visited i think it was under renovation it's a modern art museum and it has some permanent music but there is a tower you can go up on the ninth floor and you can see 360 views of san francisco what i also like is that uh on the north side, let's say near the Golden Gate Bridge, you can walk and go on a hike along the coast. So you can go hiking, looking at Golden Gate, and you can go hiking. Mm -hmm. And I think another thing that I like, oh, there are so many things that I like. Uh, so there is a neighborhood called Mission, and it's a Latino. Latino neighborhood. Mission, yeah, mission. Because because the rents were inexpensive twenty years ago, there are many new restaurants and stores in the mission. Of course, it's mixed with Latino stores and it's a little dirty. <laughs> there are some homeless, but there are many nice store, local stores and local restaurants. No, no franchise, no McDonald's. You just walk the street to have a nice coffee or nice food. Again, no McDonald's, no Burger King, <laughs> nothing of this, you know, junk right. food, nothing. Junk food, yeah. No junk food, no junk food. <laughs> That's um, what besides I Besides, the, the public transportation in San Francisco is quite good, yeah. I remember I, I was in the bus stop uh, when I was there and I remember that a girl, a woman, was complaining about because the bus was one two minutes later. Two minutes late, oh, come on. You don't know what's <laughs> being late. 
it's better. I think the worst thing that happened, especially after COVID, more people, uh, people don't have enough money now. So you can see the poverty that I didn't see. I see people are struggling more financially. Yeah. For sure. So, um, yeah, more. But there are many, many helps, but I think it's not enough because the cost of living is very high now, right now. So there are more homeless. So it's not safe anymore. You have to be always looking. Yeah. I think it's that drug is, the drug is the main problem in, in California. Oh, the Jeff. drug yeah. problem. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, sure. Just like in any other big cities, but you, you in San Francisco, you see things like that. So it's pretty bad. But anyway, still a wonderful place to live. Yeah, sure. So, uh, unfortunately, our session is about to end, but I would like to take a picture from all of us. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's just be picture ready. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Good. Erica, thank Good. you so much. It's yes. so much. It was a pleasure yes. talking to you. Oh, yeah. it was a very hey, pleasure Erica, talking nice to, to meet you. you. Have yeah. a good life. Have, have a good weekend. Bye -bye. You bye -bye. people. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Good weekend. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.